new. It's going to be an auto. So we're just going to hit the auto, turn it off, and then we're going to put it in wash. And all that's doing is turning the beaters and cutting off the refrigeration so it doesn't freeze anymore. And then just drain it. You want to get the mix out before you put water in. Take that to tip me with the spoon. Alright, so we got it pretty much out. And then we're going to go get some room temp water. You don't want to put hot water in here yet. Just think of this as like your radiator. It's hot, you don't want to put cold water in, it'll yeah. explode. Same principle. So you want to go get some hot water or room temp water? water. Alright, so we're going to go get some hot water. Yummy. Yeah, this stuff's... <laughs> <laughs> when they get rid of the mandate. Yesterday. Yesterday. Oh yeah. And they also updated the shots are now 18 and older. Oh yeah. Yeah. They ain't got to worry about me getting that either. <laughs> Not part of their experiment. I'm sorry. Yeah, that didn't work too well. Never got a flu shot. Never got. And I've only had the real flu once in my life. Yeah. I've had it. I'll be right there. Can you have Josh sign it too? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Tiff. Yep. And we just need Josh to sign it. And that would be five. Perfect. You see the Rangers, they had a full stadium. Really? Yeah, the whole then we're just gonna pour the water in. What button did you hit? Did you hit wash? Just there? wash again, yeah. If there's nothing in there, you don't really want the feeders going. Yeah. Out it. No, we don't want to bend the beaters again, do we? Right. <laughs> Let that go for about two minutes. I'll get the brush kit real quick. That one's yeah, bubbling. What? I said that one's bubbling. Yeah, because I think that's where it's running. That's true, I wouldn't this side be. Yeah. Hmm. Just be like McDonald's. <laughs> Extra fudge. How can we say this is a That's how it is. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. And then, this is your hopper brush. Just kind of brush it around. Make sure you get all that soot off the bottom.
side at a time. This is all being done in wash. So if you were to hit auto, you're going to break some things. Do not hit auto. Do not hit auto. That's what we're done is this. Yeah. Let me do a lot of this. That's annoying when that starts going and you can't yeah, stop you can it. Well, you can silence it? Can. I didn't know that. So that's what we do if that ever starts doing it, we can't. You working today, Josh, or are you just here for this? No, I'm not one to eat. Ah, oh, okay. So I gotta figure out what to do with myself for a couple hours. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So just a little more water in here, just get the rest of this stuff out. water in there. Wash already, you can hit auto and turn off the beep. But if it's out of wash, you can hit auto while there's water in there. That's when you start to Alright, so These do not come off. Don't try and take them off, or you will be paying another five hundred dollars for a bill. <laughs> like they did last week. Ouch. These are your beers.
So this draw valve right here has to go in the middle. Otherwise, there won't be an even swirl. That's why it's a different O-ring than these two. See how it has, it's like, a, we call it an H O-ring. And then you just got two separate ones on these ones. Take all this stuff back, that's it all. So, basically we're just going to rinse this stuff off. You guys on the sprayer, so it's... More of a pain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And you don't need any soap or anything, right? Uh, yeah, I just didn't see any, so. <laughs> oh, this old tub? Yep, the Dawn dish soap is right there in the corner. Towards, yep. Alright, well, let's get the soap now. Fill up the tub. Put a little water soap in there. Let it fill up. Only two, and then we let it soak for like five minutes. And then after that, just put it together and freeze it down. You guys don't have good water pressure. No. <laughs> We're always sweating the sinks because we walk away. Right. It takes so long. It takes <laughs> that should be in Hollywood. <laughs> They do come off, but very important to not lose these because that'll also break your door. That'll be a nice little expense for you guys. What this does is it controls these while it's spinning and it doesn't wobble. Now we grab our Taylor Blue Lube. These are drive shafts, so they go into the coupling right here, and that's what turns them. The motor turns the coupling, coupling turns the beater. 
So we want to put lube on this O-ring. Spread it around. And then we'll go up the shaft. We don't want to lube the hex head because that'll make the that'll make it slip in the coupling and it will it'll freeze up on you guys. And then it slides I don't know if that and that hole just slides right in there. That's it. Same with the other. These you can't really go too much lube on because this sits in a metal sleeve, so metal on metal, you want you know, as much lube as you can put on there. You don't have to like overdo it or anything. Just make sure you don't lube these hex heads. Alright, now the door. Just put on these O rings. If your O ring is leaking, or if the door is leaking, like out of here, Either your handle's not up all the way, you didn't put enough lube on these O-rings, or you have a broken O-ring. So it's as simple as taking the door off and seeing what you got. And just pop it in just like that. Here's the middle draw valve. A lot of people make the mistake and they think you got to put lube on these. That all that's doing is getting into your product. So Yum. You got lube, <laughs> Do not yeah. put that on that part. <laughs> Unless you're into that stuff. <laughs> these are not flavored lube. <laughs> um, these are just draw valve bar handles to sit on and so they just go in and then they slide right in the draw valve. And then you got a little mini one for the left side. Oh well. So this is how the door should look. Remember, do not twist these. All right, now the door, it's kind of a pain to put on. You gotta put these on, and then you got the paddles on top that the draw valves have to slip under. If you don't feel it screwing in, it's because your draw valves are hitting these paddles up here. Just kind of push them up with your finger and you'll be good. You want to go get some uh, product? Product? Yeah. Last step is the uh, caps. So we're ready for mix. We're gonna pretend that we're pouring mix in. So we're pouring mix in, we fill this side up, you know, however you guys wanna fill it. This hole right here is feeds the barrel under here, right? So we don't wanna press auto until this barrel's full, and the way we tell it's full is the bubbles will stop. Okay. So when we fill it, it's gonna bubble down into the barrel. Once those stop, that's when we press auto. If we press auto before that, it's gonna start freezing before the barrel's full, and you're gonna have air pockets in there, right? So it's gonna keep freezing and freezing and freezing until it snaps a belt, bends a feeder, and you're gonna have, it's just, and sometimes you might get, like the center of the beater isn't frozen like the outside, right? So what we want is the outside of it. But the outside's too frozen, all you're gonna get in the middle, and it's gonna be like slushy stuff. Yeah. Like it's not freezing. And then we're gonna come out here for 20 minutes, 
charge you guys an insane amount of money to go. It's, you froze it up. Let it unfreeze. Okay, and then once that happens, we'll press auto. And then that's the freezing cycle. In about 10 minutes, you'll be ready to go. Yep.